everyone. We have a new tutorial today. I'm going to I'm going to get right to it because my explanation for it is written in the blog. Um, we're talking about images and using placed images inside Illustrator, um, which I use a lot in my clients work. So um, it is by image, I mean anything raster. So today we're going to be working with a photo, but this could be a raster logo. Um, or something else. It doesn't have to be a photo, but um, first of all, to get to import an image or a photo into your Illustrator document, it's fairly simple. We go up to File and down to the word Place because we're placing the image in our document. And then I'm going to use a stock photo that I downloaded here, um, and you can see it's JPEG, which means it's a raster file. So we're going to place And you can see, um, after you hit the place button here, your cursor shows a little thumbnail of the image that you're placing. And at this point, you have two options. If you just click once, it will place your image at full size onto your artboard. Um, if the other option to do is, we're gonna hit place again. The other option is if you have a general idea where you want your placed image to go, you can click and drag and it will place your image at the size that you um, drag your cursor to. So obviously you can see this doesn't really fit good in the spot that I want it. So we're going to have to crop it and there's two ways you can crop it. Um, the newer versions of Illustrator um, in the cloud have a new feature up here at the top. Um, you can crop your image using this button. So with our image selected, we hit crop image and this little warning comes up just to make sure that you know um, it's not cropping your original image. Um, it's just cropping it on the screen for you. So your, your original JPEG file is gonna remain untouched. And if you don't want to see that message again, just click that little box. So now we have crop marks around our photo. So we can drag in however we want. We can do the corners. Um, it does keep it within the image. It's bounded to the image. So we're going to start with that. And once you get your um, image cropped, basically how you want it, you just hit apply and there's your cropped image. So now we can enlarge it to fit the area like so. But if you're working in an older version of Illustrator that doesn't have the crop feature, there is a different way that you have to crop. So let's place our image again. And if you don't use the crop feature, then you have to apply what's called a clipping mask um, in order to crop it. So um, you need to go to the rectangle tool and you're going to draw a rectangle where you want the image cropped. So let's just guess. We can always adjust it later. We're going to crop it about there. Then you want to select your rectangle and your image go up to object, go down to clipping mask, and hit make, and there. Now we have masked the image, um, which is basically the same thing as cropping. So there's two ways um, to crop your images. And the last thing I wanna go over um, regarding images is I wanna make sure that you know about the links um, window. So I have my links window set up as a little shortcut over here um, so it brings it up otherwise you can go to window and down here to links will bring up the same panel so I'm gonna bring it over here so we can see it and what this window does is it shows you um, every single placed image that is within your document so the only placed image I have on this document is the one that we just did, so there's only one. But if you're working with, you know, a 
a trifold brochure or something with multiple pages, your links list could be very long. And what this is useful for is, let's say um, that you are going to package this up or this is, a, this is an art file that you need to send to somebody else to use, um, maybe a client, um, maybe another artist, somebody else is going to open it on their machine. You want to make sure that you embed your placed images before you send it to anyone because Illustrator is linking this JPEG file with this document. So we need to go over here, have, your, have the images, and if you have multiple images here, just hold the shift key down and select all your images and then go up to the options button and then go down here to it says embed images and you'll see that this little icon appears right here on the side and that means that the image is now embedded within the document so Illustrator isn't going to try to pull the image information from the separate file it, it's keeping all the image information right tucked in within this AI file so nothing is going to be missing whoever opens this file is going to be able to view the photo um, just like it is and be able to use it. So you want to make sure that you go to your links panel and embed your images um, before you send it to anyone else. Another thing you can use the links panel for is replacing or updating an image. Um, so if you click on this, um, click on your linked image, and then you have some choices over here. You can relink, meaning replace this image with a image from your Creative Cloud library, or um, you can relink to any other image. Um, let's just relink with a different image so I can show you. And there, it just popped in um, the different image that I selected. So that is a good way um, to switch around your images, say you changed your mind or the client changed their mind without having to go through the cropping and all that stuff over again. So you can just replace images um, using the link panel. And let's see, what else can we do here? Oh, let's say that this is a file that you opened up from somebody else that you didn't originally create it and um, you want to edit a specific file, you could use the option of reveal and if you hit reveal it will show you where that file is located if it's located on your system or if it's in the packaged file that they sent with. Um, you can view the link info um, which this one doesn't have a whole lot of info but you can see the image size, resolution, um, there's lots of different things that you can see. Although this image doesn't have a whole lot of um, data connected to it. so. Um, but that option is there. I don't want to get too in-depth um, because a lot of this I don't use. But, oh, the edit original, that's a cool little trick to say that you want to color adjust or make some sort of edit to this image after you already have it placed in the document. If you select the image and then go to Edit Original, it will pull up your original file so that you can edit it. Of course, I don't have Photoshop open, so it's going to take a second for it to open, but that option is there, and that option will save you lots of time as well. So I think that's it for today. Um, next week, we're going to go over even more fun things that you can do with images inside Illustrator. Have a good week!